Hello everybody, this is Delta, and we're back in Sunrider. Um, I think we got everything done last time, yep, so the only thing that's left to do now is carry on with the story. Well, Lieutenant, brief me on the situation. Sir, as you know, we have five packed fleets approaching Farport. Our mission objective is to hold this planet until reinforcements arrive. So it's going to be one of these um, missions where you have to survive for a certain amount of turns or something, maybe? What's the ETA on the Alliance fleet? The first fleet is approximately two days out. The third, fourth and sixth fleets will not arrive for another three days. With packs liable to strike any time, we'll be heavily outgunned in the coming battle. Based on our numbers, I don't think this is a battle we can win head on. What are our options? Fallport may be a technically pivotal world, but it's largely uninhabited. We could try scattering the Alliance fleet around the planet and pick off uh, packed fleets with hit and run tactics. With no risk of civilian casualties on the planet, we could draw the battle out until the rest of the ships arrive. With all due respect, Commander, such a plan involves the risk of the packed fleets bypassing us altogether and warping deeper into populated Alliance space. Alliance Command has ordered us all to keep Pact contained at far port at all costs. Pact won't be able to warp out of the Armada of that size easily, and facing a Pact fleet that large with our current forces would be suicide. So we have a bind, so we either risk the enemy getting past us, or we risk losing lots and lots of ships, as well as the Sunrider. Looks like we're in quite a bind. Yes, it does. Oh, nice and relaxing room now. Well, here we are, the opening battle of the Alliance Pact War. How are you feeling, Ava? Hopelessly outnumbered and outgunned, facing a far superior force with minimal backup and no hope of reinforcements arriving on time. All for a knave schoolboy cause. Feels like one of our old summer vacations all over again. Wow. <laughs> that sounded like a very good um, summer vacation, didn't it? I thought you had forgotten everything about those days. Not everything. Why didn't you ever respond to my messages after you left? I was busy. Huh? Figured as much. I moved on. I went to space and you stayed home. It's not like I could have lasted forever. Nothing set in stone unless you let it stay that way. Captain? Yes? I'm still waiting for you to complete that stack of paperwork on your desk. Oh. Such a lovely friendship they have. Oh, and now we have Chigara. Oh! Uh, eh? Reviewing your camera footage again? Uh... The captain shows up about the 61 minute mark. Uh huh. Right there. Hehe. <laughs> That's our man. Seriously, what are you two doing? Heh. <laughs> I don't see what you see in that loser, Chigara. He's just a little schoolboy. The captain's always doing his best for the crew. But there's something lonely about him. You must miss home. Ah, uh, maiden love. Alright, we've got to hook you up with a wild knight at the Stardust to turn you into a real woman. Some pumping bass and hard drink should blow that innocence from your head. S stop it! <sighs> You're hopeless. You better make your moves fast, Yigara, or else I'm going to snatch him away before you. Hmm. Change the subject. What's that spy doing in the recording? Eh? I don't remember seeing this part. Wait a minute. Isn't that... Even in a situation like this, Ava's still making me do the paperwork, huh? I thought I could get away with it until after the battle. 
She's always just way too uncompromising. One day, I'm going to have to take her to shore leave and show her how to actually relax. That sounds a good idea. I like that. <laughs> you carry over radio. How the hell am I going to do that? Captain, we need you in the hangar. I don't know. <laughs> that probably didn't sound any good. Ikari, what's the matter? The Alliance Mole has been tampering with our systems. We've got to arrest her. I'll break down. What's she up to? I should have known better than to trust you. What's going on here? I caught the spy snooping on the Sunrider's warp core controls. No doubt trying to copy our core schematics into that little data drive she's been hiding. An unfortunate misunderstanding, Captain. I was merely running a diagnostic on the ship's performance specs so I could formulate our tactical plan for the upcoming battle. Chigara, did you see anything? The, the lieutenant attached some kind of data copier to the console. I think she was trying to hack into our secure data. See, she is a spy. Are you sure, Chigara? Yes. I have it all on video. Since I did set up the cameras in engineering and all. Now... I don't... Ooh. Technically, we are all on the same side. And she is willing to help us fight, so she's not a bad character. But Captain, she's an Alliance Black Ops. For all we know, she might slit our throats while we're sleeping. Those people aren't accountable to anyone. For the record, the Alliance does not have a Black Ops. Don't bullshit me. What kind of self-respecting military does not have a Black Ops? Calm down, Ikari. Weren't you the one who was always saying we needed the Alliance on our side if we're going to win this war? Uh, I... Uh. Klaxon. What the... Proximity warnings. It's a packed fleet. Damn. They're here already. We'll deal with this later. Man your stations, people. Move. Sir. Oh. Looks like we're going to get into the battle in a minute. This will be interesting. The packed invasion fleet just warped in. Distance 10,000 kilometers and closing in fast. Size? Bigger than anything we've seen so far. Roughly 20 battleships and carriers. Over 600 ships in total. Holy crap. They outnumber us nearly 1 to 6, huh? Asuka, are our riders ready? All right down here, Captain. Just give the word. I just hope our lieutenant doesn't stab us in the back out there. We're going to have to deal with that later. For now, I need all riders we have. Lieutenant Stairs, regardless of what orders you have from your superiors, the Admiral has reassured me you will be under my command during combat operations. I expect you to obey my orders. Yes, sir. I understand. We're being hailed by the packed flagship. I put it through. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. This is all you could master to defend Farport. This will be far too easy. Just like you. Wait, what? Think as a park chops. The Alliance has over a thousand more ships en route to Farport. Now that you've sparked an Alliance intervention, it's all over for Pact. Fool. We'll crush the Alliance just as we crush the Neutral Rim. The future belongs to Pact. And guard, Captain, for my mighty fleet and belly will be the last sight you see before you are slaughtered like animals. And then on my plate. Ava, show me the situation on the screen. Hi, sir. We're currently holding position here. Are we the green dot? I guess we are. Five pack fleets approaching our position. Fleet 1 and 2 are composed of fast fighters and destroyers. They intend to circle ahead of the main enemy fleet and flank us from the sides. 
Fleet 3 and 4 are composed of slower cruisers. They approach from the rear. While they present a considerable threat, they have warped out too far behind the battle lines. ETA until they are in range, 4 hours. Eugh. Don't like the sound of any of this. Finally, Fleet 5 is the enemy's command group, composed of battleships and carriers. This will be the enemy's backbone. What about the Legion? It is holding 800,000 kilometers away. It appears merely observing the battle. The two light fleets will eventually flank us from the sides while the commanding fleet delivers the killing blow. The two cruiser fleets will provide reinforcements and engage in a mop-up operation. Ooh. Shall I give the order to the second fleet to scatter and begin the hit and run operations? No. Captain? Cullen's only fought weakly defended neutral rim worlds and the remnants of the new empire during the Pact Revolution. He's overconfident and underestimates us. What are your orders? We charge forward. Cullen has never dealt with an enemy who took the offensive. Cullen may know how to overwhelm defensive positions, but he doesn't know a thing about stopping an enemy attack. By keeping his force split into five groups and committing all offensive to the offense, Cullen's rendered his command fleet defenseless. Uh, that's a fair point. If you go straight for it and take it out, the rest will have to scatter. Won't they? They'll all have to scatter away like little bugs. We'll charge forward to the command fleet on the full thrusters and make the fleets 1 and 2 overshoot us. They'll need to circle around again before they can reach us. While flanking fleets are busy circling around, we'll come... While the flanking fleets are busy circling around, we'll commit all our ships to taking down Fleet 5 before the cruisers in the rear get here. The Alliance smaller vessels will engage the battleships and the carriers at knife fight range. Wow. And sink them before Cullen can react. Okay. Even with the command fleet gone, the remaining packed fleet will still be formidable. Our mission objective isn't to protect far port but the defense of the deeper inhabited Alliance worlds. With all their command ships destroyed, the remaining packed vessels will have no means to continue beyond us for a coordinate invasion of the Alliance worlds. Once their command vessels are sunk, the packed fleet will be disorganized and will have no choice but to retreat. A daring plan, Captain. But what about the Legion? Let's just hope that they're here to watch the party. They won't commit the Legion to the battle if Arcadius is on board. He's too important to risk taking into battle. Then, let's hope he's there watching. Put me through to all our ships. Done. All ships, this is Captain Shield speaking. The enemy is at our gate. The Alliance now fights a war for its very survival. Captain, do your best. The task before us is great. We stand guard of billions of innocent lives beyond the far port. And yet the enemy outnumbers, outguns and outpowers us one to six. I have seen with my own eyes what Pack does to civilians. For those who we left behind, steal yourself for the coming fire. For as long as record time we have suffered at the hands of the imperialists. After many years of bloody revolution, we have at last arrived at the enemy's gates. Tell me, my comrades, shall we let these capitalists live? Those that would let starve billions of children throughout the galaxy merely because there is no profit to be had. These who would oppose the common people all to maintain their decaying grip upon their empires. Let it be heard. Death to the aging ma- Deaf to the aging men in their gleaming ivory towers. Deaf to the kings in their decadent throne rooms. All hail the revolution. In the face of such odds, we will not scatter, but instead charge forwards to meet the enemy head on. I'm going to protect everyone. The enemy may have strength in numbers, but their numbers are meaningless 
when we outnumber them 100 to 1 in metal. For the defense of the inner world, we will march forward. Let the Crimson Fleet learn today the might of the free men of the Alliance. All units, forward. Battle stations. Okay then, it's time for war. Now, how are we going to plan this out? I'll read the bottom bit in a minute. Alright, so we have two ships, big ships, smaller ships, and a lot of riders. And I might let there'll be more. Yes. Tip 1, use short range warp order to instantly relocate the Sunrider to another location. How on earth do I do that? Tip 2, pack cards will continually launch enemy riders until destroyed. That's it? No speech? Nothing else? Okay then. <clears throat> now, actually, there's something I just read from that. That, because of the fact that they'll constantly spawn riders, doesn't that technically mean that all I need to really do is destroy one of them, leave one of them alive, destroy everything else, and, as they, and just keep killing the ones that keep spawning in? That would probably be a really easy way to earn money. And lots of upgrades. Okay then. So, I actually did give this game a little bit of a practice before I started recording this, so... Alliance Cruiser here. Uh, we have Alliance Cruisers on our side, so this will be interesting. Basically, you can Alliance use these Cruiser here. Alliance Cruisers yes, sir. as tanks, in a way. The Sun Rider... We will engage the enemy face to face. In doing so, mainly the enemies will attack, hopefully, our three very heavily armored ships. Reporting for duty, sir! We also have another character that's really defense worthy as well, which is good. Forward! Oh, she can use missiles. Um. Reaching the enemy's defense. I'm not gonna go for the other ships because I'll just get blown out of the sky, so we may just go for the normal riders. Didn't really kill it anyway. Successful, but didn't do very much damage. Seraphim here. Now, a little bit of a test I did. It takes two turns after using Awakening to destroy one of these. There's also something else I can do with this ability. The um, Vanguard Cannon. Might as well just try to destroy them for now. Get them all out of there and we'll be fine. Get rid of all the riders. The hit is solid, Captain. Goody, good, good. And also, Phoenix, waiting orders. Not really much else we can do for damage-wise. I'm here. Except for making you go awaken. All right. I'm here, Captain. All right. Uh, Captain. Yes. Well, anyway, another way to make it well, make it easier is by disabling. The won't know what hit them. Two of their car. Well, two of their ship's the shields. Well, should have done that to begin Are you with. Watching me, Captain. Only a little bit. Right. You've been a bad boy. That's what you get for messing with my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, another one. May as well damage them. Bad boy. Oh. I thought you were gonna miss. Reporting for duty. Also, the alliance ships have kinetic, which will be helpful, but we can't really use that at the moment. Just Open use fire. it to destroy whatever ships are out there. We'll use like the Vanguard cannon later. Luckily the Sun Rider is kind of a tank itself, so it's fine. Oh yeah, it also has its own personal shield. Which I was hoping would be like Claude and Chigaras. But no, okay. it's its own personal shield. I should have read that a little bit more thoroughly. Our hole is instead of just buying it. I don't mind it, I guess it does give us a bit the more defense. That's good. That's her voice. That's a good thing to know. But first of all, Captain. let's get rid of one of these. That is my wish. I wish to at least get rid of one of Definitely these as fast as possible. Do it, Solar. Eliminate them. Well, Time close to eliminate. So one more shot should kill that unit at the back. Because it upgrades her accuracy and her damage, which is amazing. Awaiting order, sir. You did assault. No, you wouldn't really be doing very much damage. Kinetic. Um, how much damage do you actually do for kinetic? Oh, that's a good animation. Oh, that wasn't that bad. 
If only you could attack one more time. Oh yeah, I never boosted her. Um, uh, I only boosted her HP, didn't I? Oops. The Sunrider awaits orders. Also, there are en going to be enemies appearing from the top and the bottom. So having Asaga and um, uh, her um, down here is a good idea. I keep forgetting her name. Right. Um, the kinetic against this Firing one. Weapons. Get rid of at least one of them. There we go. That means one less lot of damage. Uh, maybe. Seraphim here. Yes. Captain. All right. Let's repair Sola. I fight alone. You fight alone, but you need help. Awaiting orders. Reporting for duty. Will she ever change her attitude go. about that? Oh, you can actually hit him. Oh, it's gravity. I thought you was kinetic. I need to boost her aim up. Other than lowering the enemy's aim. Um. Anything you say. Now go for it. You might get a hit. Yes, be a chicken and fight. You missed. Hang on. I think I forgot to put my contacts in this one. Dang it, Captain! I'm a doctor, not a. Oh, she actually hit. That's what you get. Didn't kill it, but did all right damage. I hear you loud and clear. All right, Asuka should be able to take I'm this thing down. My lasers. Then do it. Yay! That's gotta hurt. Woohoo! What's left? Two cruisers. So that'll be useful for later on. We're taking fire. I might actually use my um, little bit of a. I guess it is a glitch or exploit. Why would the, the developers leave that in? Unless uh, at a certain point the game will end. I hope not. I'll have to save it just before I'm about to plan my strategy about that. We're taking fire. Well, yeah, you can handle it. Hardly took any damage. And that would do a little bit more. Reroute emergency power. God, the Alliance cruisers are, like really tough, aren't they? Like they didn't even need my help. They probably could have handled this on their own. Whole bridge I get so many units shooting those rockets down, and they still get a hit. In how? How many rockets do they send? It looks like just four. Or is it like four? It's probably more than that, but still. Incoming more rockets. Dodge it. Or just take it to the face. They detected it ages ago. They're like bombers. Oh, they are bombers, aren't they? But, yeah. The enemy has detected my position. Yes, they've detected you for a while now. Okay. We're being flanked to the side by the fighters. Okay then, so the fighters have arrived. Three at the bottom and four at the top. And the enemy aren't exactly in the line I'd like them to be in. Awaiting orders. But I think it's time we have a little bit of fun, don't you think? Alright, bombers don't usually attack if you go the next to them. Face to face. Well, in a way. Let's try out the Vanguard cannon. I'm curious about this. It might be a waste of resources, but why not? I like the idea of it. Let's this begin. Is my command. Prepare to fire the Vanguard cannon. Vanguards, fire. Nice. Wow, okay then. Oh, giant beam of beamness. That's a word. 1,600 damage, wow. Though, thinking about it, it wouldn't even destroy some of those ships back there. Especially the ones that um, are dropping off all the um, riders. It's just destroying everything in this path, though, especially riders. Reverse course. Reporting for duty, sir. Yeah, you'll just have to go down here and just like be a tank for me for a second. Oh, actually no. Yeah, just blow up one of these for me. I'll be happy about that. Since she has two. Speaking of Observing which. The enemy. Since we still have the damage and accuracy boost, as well as a bit of shielding. Let's take down the ship. This is hundred percent. We'll damage that one we'll go after that one later. Eliminating. Target successful. There we go. If you boosted up like um Sola's damage, she'd be unstoppable. In a way. Reporting for duty. Okay, can you hit him? Uh sixty percent chance. Weapons. Oh come on. I swear a line. Come on. 
Oh well, all right. Ready to roll. Let's take down this one. Use <laughs> this one for me, please. All right, there you go. <laughs> I did it. Those units are so easy. There's like even no point Anything them attacking. For you, Captain. Oh, okay. So, can you make me some like food and stuff? I'll appreciate it. All right, Asaga. Let's go get him. Laser this one for me. Devastation at the speed of light. <laughs> I did it. I swear Asaga will get stronger with every turn. Whenever she attacks, she always gets stronger. Just get rid of this one for me. I hate bombers. They're so annoying. They just rocket within rockets. The enemy has taken damage. Yay. Yes, Captain. Yes, can you repair a solar for me? Alone. Yes, sir. One left down there. One left up there. Ready to roll. Pardon me, Captain. Pardon for duty. Let's take down this one. All heads. As fast as we can. For combat. Hey, that actually got hit and I'm surprised. Yeah, more rockets. Woohoo. Our systems are catastrophically failing one by one. Oh no. It's happening all over again. It's not like this has ever happened before. You'd think by now they'd be used to this. Right then. Uh, destroy this last one down here for Reporting me. For duty, sir. And then we Fire can go and eat some cake. Because everyone likes cake. Well, um, never mind. There are more enemies on the way. The enemy cruisers are now in weapon range. And yes, they are. They're all down there, apparently. Well, that's good Captain. news for me. Uh, Solar, can you do me a favor and start Looking eliminating them target. one by one? Oh, you do it for little old me. Oh, thank you so much. Target successful. Alright, that's so one dead and there's only three left. Okay then, guys. Um... That's it. All the enemies are basically dead. There's still riders coming out, but I decided to probably not use the glitch yet. All systems are green. I'll probably use it in like in um, a different run when I'm playing the game just for fun, just to see how much money I can get from this or something maybe. So the only thing that's left now really is to destroy this thing, which shouldn't be too difficult. Alliance cruiser here. So let's just Firing do it. Weapons. Good, good, good. Start hitting thrusters. The enemy will probably still send them more out, so that gives me a chance to earn more money. Oh, it's a bomber. Ready to roll. Devastation at the speed of light. Yep. There we go. Attack successful. That's gotta hurt. All we have left now is this little guy. Order, sir. Come on, let's see if we get a hit in on 40. You actually got a hit? I wasn't expecting that. There we go. Job done. How much money are we going to get? Victor dear. Give me a lot of money, please. I want a lot of money. That is a lot of ships. Holy crap. Okay, 54,000. Nice. I like it. Command points. Hmm, okay, nice. There we go. My leader, the enemy fleet has ambushed Cullen's command group. The fool. We long suspected his incompetence. Shall we assist? Yes, Vatana. Prepare to fire the Legion's main cannon. But sir, at this distance, there is a risk that we might hit our own ships as well. That is irrelevant. Destroy them all. Understood, my Vinkaza. Warning. The cruiser fleets have reached weapons range. We're taking heavy fire. What's the status of the enemy command fleet? We've taken down most of the command ships, but Cullen's flagship still remains. W wait, Angie spike detected. It's the Legion. Order the fleet to take evasive maneuvers. Incoming energy blast. Uh oh, they're even firing on their own units. They're pure evil. Holy crap. The Hackley Squad has been annihilated. Taylor Squad is down to three cruisers. Two of Pack's own vessels were caught in the blast and vaporized as well. Arcadius, you son of a bitch. 
Merge squad Taylor with squad Arteria. Move our ships closer to the packed vessels. Sir, don't let the Legion take any more of our ships without taking twice as many of his own down with it. Ah, this battle is still far from over, Captain. Prepare to fire the quantum torpedo. Target the Sunrider. As if I'll let you. Huh. What do you expect to do with those tiny lasers, girl? Ah! The Blackjack has done done its safety limiters. Asaka! Don't mess with me! Oh, what? Ah! I impossible. This is for Ruvia! No. No. I'm not dead yet. I think he's dead. Ooh, if only Cullen could manage to absorb it. Maybe if he ate the laser, he'd be fine. Confirmed hits. The enemy fleet's flagship has been sunk. Yes. Ugh. The enemy attacks are still continuing. Our fleet is down to 33%. We won't be able to survive much more of this. Order the fleet to scatter. Our objectives are complete. Aye, Captain. Oh. Uh, more things are getting intense. Dun dun dun. I'll down you all. Tch. Didn't think I'd ever end up like this. Find some stupid war alongside the likes of you. Wait, look. Okay. That was like the worst animation for an attack ever. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Captain. It's Alliance Fleet. I command you for holding out this long, Captain. Now behold the power of the Emerald Fleet. Wow. Okay. Can I have that many ships, please? That would be a lot of fun. All ships, open fire. Show these reds what happens when you cross the Alliance. Ivan Kaza. Colonel has been dispatched. Our ships are in disarray. The first fleet has arrived with 200 fresh ships. Our spies indicate that more Alliance reinforcements are en route. Shall I commit the Legion to the battle? No. The battle no longer favours us. Order our forces to fall back. Understood, my lord. This loss is irrelevant. Soon, the galaxy will witness the true power of what we accomplished in Diode, and tremble. <laughs> well, it looks like we survived. Yay. Happy face. Aha! We did it, Captain! Captain, I'm back! Mission successful. Seriously? <sighs> this is only the first battle of the war. It's too soon to celebrate yet. Kind of hard to take that seriously when you're grinning ear to ear, eh, Ava? What? I'm not... Huh. It was my pleasure to fight alongside you, Miss Isodold. We make quite a team. Well... I guess you're not that bad of a shot. Just call me Ikari from now, alright? I don't like ranks or titles in front of my name. Of course. Well, it looks like you two are getting along for a change. Captain. I apologize for my actions, sir. I expect to be escorted by Commander Crescentia to the brig now that the crisis has passed. About that. Here's the data you were trying to access. We're going to be a team from now on, so we're going to have to learn to trust each other. 
The next time you need information, why don't you just ask? Sir? If we're going to get anything done, it's going to be done together. Understood, sir. I will inform you personally if my superiors wish information in the future. Heh. <laughs> well, this doesn't mean that we'll be friends or anything. But I guess we can work together, just for now. Sundry. Ooh, foo, foo. It looks like it's sitting someone's blushing. Sh shut up. This is only so we can be packed. My, my. Isn't the ship turning into a little love nest? Ooh, foo, foo. Shut up. Ugh. This is a big crowd of girls. Anyone else enjoying this? It's such a pretty sight. Guess we have everyone except for one person. Unless she's never going to become a compa um, an ally. I keep referring to Skyrim, but I'm on about, like, Cassette. I guess she's not a companion or a friend or anything. She guess she's never going to join our team. The looks of things. Lull. Captain? Hard to believe this was just an empty hangar when we first left Sira. You said you'd gather allies from across the galaxy. Yeah, I did. Well done, Captain. Well done. But, I still await the completion of your paperwork. <laughs> no! Okay then, guys. I am going to end it there. Something looks interesting in the next scene. But I'll leave that for the next episode, because this has probably been a very long one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Delpha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye.